everyone, this is Callie Teagarden, and I want to welcome you to our Relationship Marketing Overview. Happy Halloween. Some of you may be watching this on replay tonight because you've been out trick-or-treating with your kids or giving out candy, but I'm really excited to have special guest uh, Brian Perez from South Carolina on the line with me. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Callie, and you? Happy Halloween. I am good. Happy Halloween to you. I know your kids were probably out trick-or-treating and having fun tonight. Yep, yep. And I know how fa important family is to you, so thanks for taking a few minutes of your schedule to spend some time with me tonight. Um, I'm going to go share with everyone this concept of relationship marketing, and then I would love for you to tell your story, because I know you were looking for a business or businesses that you really could create the life of your dreams and the lifestyle to be there and present with your family. Have a business, but also have life as the most important thing to you, correct? Correct. Awesome. Well, let me go share with everyone a little bit about my story, a little bit about this concept called relationship marketing that we're going to talk about, and then I'm going to have you come in and we'll chat for a little bit. Sound good? Sounds good. Perfect. Well, welcome everyone again. My name is Callie Teagarden. I am coming live out of Sugarland, Texas tonight. Yes, I am back at home. And uh, Brian and I are going to share this concept of relationship marketing. It is how to build better relationships, right? This concept of giving to give and letting go of the outcome. Because when you just give to others, the universe, the world, God gives back. And if you can build your business with that mindset, well, you can skyrocket your bottom line. And the information that I'm going to share with you tonight, I'm telling you, could literally change your life. I know it's changed mine. I know it's changed Brian. And I know you may be thinking, Kelly, I've heard all that before. But if you take this information and apply it, it can completely transform you. And that's exactly what happened for me. You see, I thought I had done it all right. I went to college, got a great education, went into the corporate world, did really well. And then one day I woke up and I was miserable, absolutely miserable in the corporate world. And it wasn't so much my job. It was that my company and my boss owned my life. I had 12 days of vacation. And if you know anything about me, that's so not like cool. Um, I was spending 70% of my time on the road, and I knew the next 35 years of this was so not an option for me. So I was looking for something, and I ended up starting a business part-time alongside my full-time job as a way to build that up to leave the corporate world. Well, in that business, I had customers, and I wanted a simple way to stay in touch with my customers. I knew the power of holiday cards, thank you cards, birthday cards. My mom um, raised me as a card sender, but sometimes, Brian, I was just a card sender by thought only. I thought about it, but it didn't happen. So what did I do? Well, I hired my neighbor's mom, she was retired, to come over, work for me a couple hours a day, and write out, or a couple hours a week, and write out my birthday thank you and holiday cards. A couple of months into this, what I thought was a great idea, one of my best friends called me up, who was also my client, and she's like, hey, I got your birthday card, and I'm like, great, and she's like, uh, that's not your handwriting in that snotty voice only a best friend can do. And I knew in that moment a good gesture had gone completely wrong. So I was looking for something. So fast forward a few months later, I met a lady, she told me all about send out cards, but I didn't get it. I thought it was this e-card or email or something. And then she sent me a card in the mail. I went to my post office or my uh, mailbox, opened it up and there it was. I ripped into it and I loved the card. It was a personal message. It had um, a photo of her and it was very um, personal to our conversation and I knew it had to be her handwriting and signature. So I looked into it and um, it truly was the answer to my prayers, uh, staying in touch. I also was intrigued with it and I was thinking, you know what, I know a few people who could use this system to help them grow their business. So I decided to become a referral partner just to get my system paid for. Well, that was a little over nine years ago and my com life has completely changed today. This is what I love, this is what I do, and it's given me the life to now travel 
but my, by my choice, not my boss's. Plus, I get to help people build better relationships in their business and their personal lives, and I absolutely love that. So let's talk about, I've talked a lot about relationships, right? I believe that in life, life is all about the relationships we build, right? Think about it. Who are those people that if you needed help, you could pick up the phone today and say, hey, can I borrow $100? And they wouldn't ask any questions, right? Those are the relationships you built, right? Those people know you, like you, and trust you. Right. If you're in business, do you have people who will do that for you? Hey, I need a favor. Can you do something? Because life is truly about relationships and people do business with people they know, they like, they trust, and they remember right? You've got to have them all. They know you. So they know you. They like you. They may know you, but if they don't like you, they're not doing business with you. So they like you. And people like us, when we make it about them, when we're more interested in them than we are interesting. People do business with people they trust and if they remember you. So life is all about relationships. So what is this concept that we talk about called relationship marketing? Well, relationship marketing is about building long-term relationships with customers, with prospects, with family and friends, rather than encouraging a one-time sale. Because when you do that, you create raving fans and your customers feel appreciated, right? And appreciated customers, they are raving fans. They keep coming back and they tell other people about you. Well, nine years ago, I was introduced to the best relationship marketing program in the world today, hands down, right? And that system is send out cards. You can use send out cards from your computer or from your smartphone to build better relationships in both your personal life and your professional life. And if you're using it to build your business, well, you can build your business by improving your relationships and that will um, result in increased referrals and retention. And as I said, these cards through send out cards, they can be sent from your computer or from your smartphone. And it doesn't matter if you're an Android user or an iOS user because you can send gratitude from wherever you are. So let me show you how simple it is to stay in touch, to become top of mind aware with someone, to have them know you, like you, and trust you. So this is our app and you can send photo cards, holiday, birthdays, special occasions, anything you want. So I'm gonna send a photo card by clicking on there. I'm gonna pick the direction and the card type I want, and now I'm ready to add the photo to the front of my phone. And I don't know about you, but every photo I take now is on my smartphone. So I'm gonna go right into my photos, and down in the bottom left, I'm gonna pick that picture of Larry and me. Larry and I had coffee, and I wanna just send him a note that was really great getting to meet him. So now all I have to do is swipe to the left, it brings up the inside left, I can add text, I can can add photos or I can leave it blank. If I swipe again, I can bring up the inside right. Now I'm going to type in a message to Larry or I can actually voice text it in. Now here's my message. What's really cool is I can now select this and turn that into my own handwriting with my own signature and there it is. Now I save my message. If I swipe one more time, that's the back of the card. So instead of send out cards on the back of the card, you can brand yourself or your business. Now I'm ready to send this to Larry. If you see right under our picture, I can add a gift. We have lots of gifts, including books and brownies and cookies and card size gifts, all kinds of things. So I don't even have to go to the store, but we also have gift cards, right? No more going to the store. I can do it right from my computer or my app. I'm now ready to add my contact. If I had sent Larry a card before, he would already be in here, but I'm gonna add him as a new contact. I scroll down and I hit continue, and you will see I can send this card for absolutely free. This is what we call a heartfelt card, a unique card with a unique message just going to Larry. I can send this card for free to anywhere in the world based on the subscription that I'm on. So all I'm gonna do is hit submit, and I'm done. Send out cards will print, stuff, stamp, and mail that card for me the next business day. 
How awesome is that? So let me bring on our special guest. He is the card sender extraordinaire. Um, he got started in Send Out Cards a few years ago. He's an executive with our company. He got started in Send Out Cards and then also became a real estate agent. He works the two hand in hand. Um, Send Out Cards is his only paid marketing he uses in his real estate business. And he did this because he really wanted to be present. As I said at the beginning, he wanted to be present in the life of his two boys and his girlfriend for 15 years. They have an amazing life. They get to spend time together. And how awesome is that, that his boys have a present father in their life. In his spare time, he loves to work out. We were actually just in Park City and I ran into him actually coming back from the gym. So that is no lie. Um, he loves to listen to podcasts and spend time with family. And he's an absolutely amazing gentleman. I am so excited he has time and gets to be on here tonight with us. So thank you for being my guest, Brian. Kelly, thank you for having me on. Yeah, will you share with everyone, most people write, start like real estate and then start send out cards, but you kind of did it the opposite way around. Can you t share with us your story and how you got here? Yeah, so um, I knew about Send Out Cards back in 2005 when I was in the mortgage business. I was in the mortgage business from 2003 till 2010, but I was one of those guys who just hand wrote cards, and I saw the value in handwriting cards because I'm all about relationships. And then um, in 2012, we moved to Maryland, and we were there for 18 months, and that's when I started networking. And uh, the whole networking game was all new to me. And after being there for 18 months, we moved to the Charlotte, North Carolina, South Carolina market, and I had to network all over again. And about a year into being here, I'm like, you know what, well, what is it that I wanna do? And my buddy Gary Allen contacted me about send out cards, and as soon as I saw it, he's like, Brian, you know they're gonna be coming out with an app. And that really caught my attention because we live in a mobile world. And when I first saw it, I saw it as a way to add value to business owners, salespeople, entrepreneurs, and because it's all about adding value. And, and I've always been a connector. And, um, and so I signed up for Send Out Cards. I, I became a referral partner just to get my subscription paid for. And I joined a networking group. And I happened to be at a relationship marketing event that Send Out Cards puts together. And I'm sitting at a table with about 20 people. And I hear a lady at the end of the table, Gail Zentech. She's like, last year, Steve and I closed over 50 transactions, real estate, using Send Out Cards. And I've been following Gail for a while. And I've seen her lifestyle. She spends time with her family, with her grandkids, Hawaii, Paris. And I'm like, you know what? I want to build a real estate business the way she's built it referral based and in 2015 late late 2015 I got my real estate license and I literally started building my real estate business using send out cards and I'm going on my second full year of, um, of building real estate of my real estate business and send out cards is the only marketing that I use okay so let's talk about that because I meet a lot of real estate agents here in Houston or online. A lot of them are brand new. What would you tell them? Because you, you, I mean, you were in a brand new market, so you probably didn't even know a ton of people when you got right. started in real estate. So if someone is starting brand new in real estate, because a lot of times I hear, well, I don't have the money to start, you know, I've already spent all this money. I don't have the money to start building my relationships. What would you tell a new agent? And I know you do this all the time. Yeah, so I've been in sales for over 20 years. And I've been into personal development and going to sales seminars. And I've always, you know, they always tell you that the fortune is in the follow-up, right? And to go out there and meet more people. Go out there and meet people. And not until I actually went to Maryland and started networking, um, that's when I realized not only do I have to meet people, but I have to connect people. I have to learn to be a connector. And this is all going to tie in, Callie, to your question. And But when I started using Send Out Cards and I met Jordan Adler, and I've been following Jordan for a while, and, and, I, and, I, and Jordan's one of the 
he's one of the biggest, baddest networkers that I've ever met. This guy knows everyone, right? And I asked him after an event that he, he spoke at in Salisbury, North Carolina, after the event, I'm like, Jordan, so tell me, if you can give me one tip of advice, what would it be? He said, Brian, I do these three things every single day and I do them like breathing. I'm always meeting people, which I knew. I'm always connecting people, which I knew, but I'm always appreciating people. And you guys, number three, nobody teaches. Nobody teaches, Kelly, number three. And so that's what I would, I would tell people who are getting into the real estate business that you have a network out there. Um, you know, go out there and meet people, go to networking events, go to Starbucks. And whenever I'm working, if I'm not in the office, I'm, I'm, I'm mobile. I'm at Starbucks. I'm at a coffee shop because I'm always meeting people, but then I'm always asking questions and finding out about them. You know, how can I better help them um, connect, connect more people, you know, connect them. And, and then obviously I always send a, a nice to meet you card. I'm always sending birthday cards and this system allows us to be able to tangibly touch people and, and be that purple cow that Seth Golden talks about in his book, The Purple Cow, is don't be like all the cows. Be that purple cow that's different. Yeah, I really do think that appreciation piece is the m missing link. And sometimes even with social media now, because I do a lot on social media. I, you know, I started my business and did a ton of networking. And because of my travels now, I'm doing a lot through social media. And I'm amazed at how many times um, – I'll, you know, I'll get a new friend on Facebook, I'll reach out and ask them why they friended me and they say, oh, I'm looking for referrals. Do you know anyone buying or selling a home? And I don't even know them yet, right? About that whole no like, and trust I'm connected to. I can't tell you how many real estate agents in Facebook, but it's, it's one of those things. It's not, right, if you get good at appreciating and loving people and making them feel important, you don't even have to ask for referrals. They just come. And I think it's opposite. Like, relationship marketing is opposite of traditional marketing right right I agree I agree um, what uh, what um, I want to add I had a question that I can I share a quick story with you? Okay. That's okay, it. Cool. Share a story. <laughs> All right, so so just you know before we got on this before we got on here I was actually working on a new listing and and here's how I got that listing it's one of my one of my clients who we closed their transaction about four months ago. He referred this client to me about two weeks ago, and we 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 hadn't even talked until two days ago. But I immediately asked the client for his address because I wanted to go ahead and comp out his house. And he was he was speaking with two other agents. So this is how cool our system is. Is as soon as I got his address, I, I drove by his house. And I took a picture of his house and I sent, him a couple, I sent him a couple brownies and I sent him a card with a picture of his home. And that was it. Nothing about real estate. Just, hey, Chris and Shannon, um, I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. Just wanted you to capture this, this special moment, this special memory. Although it was short-lived, I bet it's still special to you because they bought the house in June. Oh, wow. Um, in June of this year, yeah, she got relocated with her job. And what's funny about it is that they didn't even contact their original agent because that agent never kept in touch. Crazy. And so when I, when I went to the appointment two days ago, the, the physical appointment to go walk their home, as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm viewing their home, I go to their living room, and guess what's in front of, the living room, in front of their TV? That card. That card I sent them. And I said to them, I said, huh. I said, cool, the brownies reached you. He's like, man, they were so good. And he's like, and that's a cool card. So he didn't tell me that he, he picked me instead of the other two agents, but I have a feeling it's because I was different and I showed appreciation that they went ahead and went with me. Yeah, appreciation and gratitude is truly the difference. And, yep. um, you know, the top 3% of salespeople in the world send thank you notes. And they're not the top, they're the top 3% because they appreciate, they didn't become the top 3% and then start doing it. They are the top 3% because they started that habit and followed through on it. So let's go back and show everyone um, the different kind of card types first and send out cards and then how they can get started. 
So, um, Brian and I have been talking about different cards and different card types. So, there's really three different card types. And I, what I love about this is there's something for everyone, depending on your needs. So, we have what we call a heartfelt card. This is a unique card to a single recipient. That's like the card you just saw me um, send to Larry, or this is one I sent to my friend Eric. We met on a scuba diving trip. He got a new job, so I sent him a congratulation card. I even included our two pack of brownies that Brian talked about. We also have what we call group cards and group cards are um, a card that you can create once and send out to multiple people immediately. Um, so if you think about it, the holidays are coming or Thanksgiving's coming. So I created the St. Patty's card, pick the card, pick 317 people in my database and hit send and the card went out to all of them. The system even inserted the individual's first name. How cool is that? We also have scheduled card and this is any card send with a future send date. So I can go in and I can schedule my um, birthday cards or I can go in now and schedule my holiday cards. We also have scheduled cards that are drip campaigns. So you get a new client and you want to reach them on a three, five, seven touch campaign over the next year and all you want to do is hit the button once while well, you can click send on a drip campaign and the system will schedule it for you. So as my friend likes to say, send it and forget it. So now that you know about that, let's talk about the different options and the ways you can get started and send out cards. And if you are not sure what option is best for you, get back with the person who shared this presentation with you, the Facebook Live or the YouTube, and they can help you determine what's best for your needs. But in a nutshell, we have four different account types. The first is our basic account. There is no setup fee. Um, and you just pay for each card as you go. Um, it's a limited account and you pay the most expensive amount, but if you only are gonna send a few cards a year, maybe one to two cards a month, our basic account may be for you. We also have in our enhanced account, it's $17 a month. And for that $17 a month, you get a discount on all of your cards. So you're paying less, you get a discount on your gifts, you get our relationship manager, where you can go in and add people into um, distribution lists, what we like to call groups. You can add birthdays, you can add anniversaries, you get an enhanced storage, and you can do those scheduled cards and those multiple touch drip campaigns that I just spoke about. We also have our $97 premium account. This one I absolutely love because remember how my card said free? Well, it gives you unlimited heartfelt single card sends, including the stamp, to anywhere in the world. So no matter if you send one, three, five, seven, ten heartfelt cards a day, they're free. And then the additional cards in that package are $1.75 plus the stamp for your group and scheduled sends. You get 30% discount on your gifts. You get our premium storage, which is unlimited contact, unlimited photos, those and our loyalty rewards. Now, the other package is our enterprise. It's $147 a month. You get everything you get in the 97, including those unlimited heartfelt single card sends. Plus, you can get 100 free cards towards group sends each month. So that was that St. Patty's card. If you want to stay in touch with 100 different people in a group send every month, this is the package for you. All you have to do is pay for the stamp on those cards. Again, if you're not sure what's best for you, get back with the person who invited you onto this webinar and they can help you determine what's best for your card sending needs. Now we also have some add-on features. One is our handwriting and signature. For $49 one-time setup fee, you can fill out this form, send it in to us, and your own handwriting and signatures will be added into your account. How cool is that? That was like a no-brainer, must-have add-on in my world. We also have industry-specific pre-designed drip campaigns. So you can create your own drip campaigns in the system, or if you're a busy professional and you want something pre-done for you, well, you can purchase these campaigns anywhere from 
$85 on up to about $350, depending on how many cards are in the campaign. Now, another add-on feature, and I absolutely love this one. This is for our scheduled and our drip sends. You can become you can add an elite package for $625 one-time fee, and that gives you 500 scheduled cards that can be used for scheduling cards in advance or for drip campaigns. It gives you unlimited access to the campaign store. So instead of having to spend, you know, that $85 to $300 plus to buy the pre-designed campaigns, you get them absolutely for free. You have 12 months to use. You also get your personal handwriting and font with signatures, so you don't have to spend that $49. Plus, there's an additional bonus if you have our $149 package. You can also get our Elite Plus it's $995 for a thousand cards. It's like 99 cents a card. It gives you a thousand touches towards scheduled and drip campaigns. It gives you that unlimited access to the campaign store, 12 months to use, and your personal handwriting font and signature. Now, one other option, and this is something that Brian and I talked about. Um, we both decided to become referral partners with Send Out Cards. I simply wanted to get my system paid for, and and um, so for $59 annually US, you can become a referral partner with Send Out Cards. You can get everything you need to get started in the business and get paid to share Send Out Cards with others. So what are the reasons to be a $59 referral partner? Well, you can earn up to 20% commissions on all your customers' cards and gifts. You can earn between $7 and $165 and up when your personal users purchase any of our great system add-ons. And for just having one premium $97 customer, you'll actually earn 20% on your own cards and gifts. So now I want to talk about this concept called paid for. This is what I saw and I was excited about because I wanted to get my system paid for. So if you have four or referral customers on the same subscription as you well your subscription is paid for and if you grow a team of referral partners teach them to become paid for and watch your income grow you can also receive coded bonuses on your on purchases within your organization as you promote through the comp plan so for example if someone buys one of your personal users buys an elite or an elite add-on package, you can earn $110 or $165, and you can earn up to $251 and $398 on those purchases as you promote through our comp plan. Plus, you can earn up to $141 or $233 on all the Elite and Elite Plus packages sold within your organization. I'm, I was so excited about that when I saw that. So Brian, I'm gonna bring you back on. And I wanna talk a little bit about the referral partner. And what has being a referral partner done for you and your family? Wow. That's a great question. So it's here, here, here's the biggest, the biggest hurdle that I see Kelly with a lot of people who, who come into, into this type of business model is that they don't treat it like a business. And, you know, and I always talk about, it's all about consistency. You know, whether you're working out, whether you're doing real estate, lead gen, whether you're doing send out cards. So, um, since I got in back in November of 2014, I've been very consistent in in sharing the app with other people and and also sending cards and let the and let the cards do the prospecting for me because a lot of the people that we talked, especially in real estate and and as a realtor, we're connectors, right? People ask because like yesterday I was at a closing and as soon as I got out of the closing, my clients asked me, hey, do you know? Do you know um, anyone who can build a fence? I'm like, yes, I do. Do you know um, somebody who does pest control? Yes, I do. Um, and do you know somebody who, who sells honey? No, I don't. <laughs> they want a local honey. I don't know that one. <laughs> but my point, my point is, is that this system allows me 
to not only use it in everyday life and appreciate people and what you appreciate expands, but also it allows me to add value to my vendor partners because when I sit down with the fence guy, when I sit down with the pest control guy, I'll ask him, hey, by the way, how are you growing your business? How, how are you nurturing your database? And a lot of them, all they're doing is putting people in an email drip, right? So I'm actually teaching them, I'm adding value to their life by teaching them how to grow a referral-based business, but also how to promote me, how to promote me, and, and then I promote, in essence, I promote them back. So we're all helping each other out. And obviously, um, you know, the more people that you help, the more money that we make, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful yeah. thing, and I really think, you know, to close, it's really about making a difference in the lives of other people. Right. And when you make a difference, when you appreciate people, when you take care of them, everything else takes care of itself. And that's really the, what the best business people have learned. Um, it's not about what we can sell to others. It's about how we add value to their lives. And when you add value to other people's lives, values added back to yours and really everything else as I said, takes care of itself. So just go out and make a difference in the lives of others. So with that, Brian and I are done here. Um, we want to say, get back with the person who invited you to this webinar, right? To this Facebook Live. You probably have questions and that's okay. I know we both had questions when we had first seen send out cards. So please get your questions answered from that person. You know, don't leave any questions. If you haven't sent a card on the system yet, ask that person how you can send your first card for free and let Brian and and myself be the very first people to welcome you to send out cards and building better relationships through this um, through this idea of relationship marketing and Brian thank you so much for being on with me I know it's Halloween I appreciate you and all that you are doing in send out cards so thank you thank you Kelly for having me on thank you thank you goodbye everyone good night bye